Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial we are trying to discuss about how can we extract text from the images using Python. So if you are new in my YouTube channel, so please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for never miss an update. So let's get started. So first we have to uh, install the TaskRect OCR API because in this project we are using this TaskRect OCR API. So if you are using the Windows machine, so you need to install this API. But if you are using the MacBook or a Linux user, you need not install it in your system. So here is a link of the TaskRack OCR API. Okay. So I will put this link on my description. So this is the uh, link. So you need to install it. So in my case is the 64 bit. So I already installed it in my system and also in a specific path so in my case this path is like this so it is my path okay so first go your c drive okay c drive then go to the program files and this was the task rack OCR okay so this is the specific path of the task rack OCR so now we are jumping into the code so here you go so here's my sublime text id so i do create a file so text to so image to text okay dot ty so now i am going to import the pi to react so import pi has a uh, react okay so it is a module and you also you need to install uh, this pi to react react module in your system so that's why you have to open your common cmd and type clip in install and the module name is the pi to react pi cas a bract okay so hit enter so it will download this module okay you can see your requirement already satisfied that means this module is already installed in my system then we have to put the specific part of the pi test act so pi test act dot pi test rec dot test rec cmd and you have to put here the specific path of the pi to rex here so i already install it in my system and this is my specific path and this is the dot exe file okay is the executable file application so let like click on here and go to the properties and go to the security option and this is the path copy for control c okay let's minimize it okay and put here r for read mode and control b then put here a again slash 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 okay so this is the uh, part of the uh, pi trick test rate, which we are downloaded in our system okay so now it's time to extract our images so load our images we are going to use the open cd so that's why you have to put here open cd import cb2 okay so let's put here variable and cb2 dot read. so we are going to uh, read our image using this iambit uh, method so you need to put here the file name so the file name uh, is uh, in, my in my case this is the file name uh, image to text so these are two files one this one and another this one so this one is the image dot png so I am going to put here the file name is the image.png image.png format and uh, let's check it is it loaded or not correctly. So I am showing your name, that's showing your name is default right there. And let's say image and cd to dot yt. So we are writing this image at the time. Control B. To run this program so you can see here this image is loaded okay so this is the image uh, which are cutting down on a website okay okay so let's close it so now we are extracting this text from the images okay so it's so easy and so simple to extract the text from the images just you have to put here a simple line of code okay so here is it so let's put here another bill for output equal pi pass rec dot image to we are converting it in a string format. So that's the string. Okay. 
and the email's name is the img okay so let's print the output in the console okay is the output control b okay so this takes some time okay uh this will load it okay this one so you can see here uh, this is my images and this is the structured text so what is python and what is python python is a popular programming language it is created by Gordio van rossum and released in 1991 you can see here okay so it is used for web development server site like django or flux so software development okay mathematics and the system scripting you can see here all the things okay so it is simple technique okay to extract the images extract the text from the images so you can also uh, do some pre-processing steps using opencv uh for example if your image is so it's not so good i mean your resolution of the image is not so good so you can do some pre-processing steps okay also so let's discuss about it okay so this is my another image it takes i i i gave i download it from the google uh it's not much so clear but some clear okay uh now you are trying to do some pre-processing steps using opencv so you can do some pre-processing steps like uh, removing the noise or using some blurring effect or make it a grayscale format or using some threshold value so we are using just two two methods so first we are converting it in a grayscale format then we are converting this grayscale format image to a threshold. Okay, so here you go. So let's first convert our image in a grayscale format. Okay, so mm, gray. So this is the pre-processing step. You can skip this part also, be. But if your image is not so clear, okay, okay, so you can do this process also. Be. CB2 dot uh, CBT color. So in this color, you have to put here the source. The source is the image, and the code is the color code inside the CB2 dot color BJ trigger. Okay. Then we are uh, using some blurring effect also. But in my case, my picture is much more clear. So I need not to uh, perform the blurring effect. But if your image is not so clear, so you have to uh, use some blurring effect like median blur. To remove the noises of the images okay so in my case i am just using the thresholding so red and the threshold let's say trash okay cb2 dot threshold so you can also the adapt using the adaptive threshold so in my case i'm using just thresholding okay so first one is the source so you're putting at the source of the image of the grayscale format and the trash format and the max pool and the max pool is 255 and the type is the binary image because you are dealing with some binary image in my images they have some uh what do you call oh zero and one mean white and black okay but in the case it is uh some red red shape okay uh because we are uh, already convert our image in a grayscale format so that's why it already uh converted in a uh, zero and one format let's mean the binary images so that's the put here the cb2 dot trash binary so this is the trash binary okay the threshold value you have to put here let's say uh 127 okay 127 and now you are going to uh put here the threshold this one this is not a dot is the comma okay and let's put here the threshold oh trash and also this one fresh okay and now we also try to see uh -huh. em show i am show okay. and in the name let's say put here the original image or is any images okay and let's put your image okay control b so take some time okay okay so this is the original image and it is the threshold image okay so you can see here it's the original image, it's the threshold both are similar but uh it is much more clear on uh, the threshold image 
so let's put here the another image is one image one dot jpg image one dot jpg control b okay uh image to tag something image okay image okay control b again okay so you can see here is the original image and it is fractured image it's much more clear and some uh, coloring effect also be okay so uh, this is the origin this is the treasury so sample python interview question okay so what is python and what are the benefit of using python so how python is interpreted okay what is the difference between list and tuple so what are the built-in types uh, does python provides okay so this is the technique to uh, extract the text from the images okay you can also do uh, just uh, skip this skip this line okay skip this line also be uh, but if your image is not much more clear you can do some preprocessing steps using open okay so just uh, this is the line uh, single line you can extract the text from the images if your text i mean this if your image is much more clear okay so this is a tutorial so hope you will enjoy this video so thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update